रेडिकल इज ए कार्बन इंटरमीडिएट that has three bond pairs and a single electron and a lone electron a radical can be shown something like this it has zero formal charge like carbocation this is also electron deficient species so in this case carbon has 2 4 6 1 7 electron so radical is electron deficient species so it can be have like carbocation and it will act as electrophile so it can act as as an electrophile because it is electron deficient now radical has a lone electron so has a single electron so this must be paramagnetic in nature so magnetic properties so this is paramagnetic so this is paramagnetic in nature radical are generally generated by homolytic cleavage of bond so radicals are generated by homolytic cleavage of bond homolytic cleavage means bond pair is equally divided so each bond pair has two electron one electron will go to a atom and one electron will go to b atom so this is homolytic cleavage so if i have ch4 molecule and if this is heated in gas phase so heated in gas phase carbon hydrogen bond can break and it can generate a radical so generally radicals are generated in gas phase by heating so when we heat homolytic cleavage takes place in solution heterolytic cleavage takes place in that case we can generate a carbocation or we can generate a carb anion now let us discuss about hybridization of radical so from experiment it is found that radical is sp2 hybridized so radical is sp2 hybridized this means this bond is sp2 overlap this is also sp2 this is also sp2 so three hybrid orbital for carbon one this side another this side another this side and this lone electron in p orbital 
so shape is planar so radical is planar in geometry so planar geometry now nucleophile can attack from top face and it can also attack from the bottom face so radicals are equally likely to be attacked from the top face or from the bottom face now next is a stability of radical we can have methyl radical we can have 1 degree radical we can have 2 degree radical we can have 3 degree radical since radical is electron deficient any group that can donate electron will stabilize the radical so any electron donating group will make radical more stable so in this case we have one alkyl group in this case we have two alkyl group in this case we have three alkyl group so alkyl group stabilizes the radical by plus inductive effect so this means 3 degree radical is most stable then we will have 2 degree radical then 1 degree radical and then we have methyl radical so this is the stability order 3 degree most stable then we will have 2 degree then 1 degree and in the last we will have methyl radical so this is the stability order so increasing order of a stability Similarly, we can have different kind of radicals, some more radicals like carbocation, we can have vinyl radical. So, this carbon is called vinyl carbon and radical over this carbon is vinyl radical. Similarly, we can have allylic radical these radicals are resonance stabilized so allylic radical is resonance stabilized so this carbon is called allylic carbon and the corresponding radical will be allylic radical similarly we can have benzylic radical this carbon is called benzylic carbon and this radical is benzyl radical or we can say benzylic radical similarly we can have this radical also so this time this carbon that is coming for from acetylene so we can call this as acetylenic carbon so this radical is acetylenic radical and this name is framed by me I don't know whether this name is correct or not so we can have different kinds of radicals one very important point we have like carbocation radicals do not rearrange like carbocation rearranges to give more stable carbocation so less stable carbocation
So let's just table carbocation. Can rearrange to give more stable carbocation. But in case of radical, there is nothing like this. So we have less a stable radical. It cannot rearrange. to give more stable radical so this means rearrangement is not possible is not possible in case of radical So this is about radical.